Now, they have been busy over summer getting up to all kinds of mischief. But the holidays are over now, and as Leisha and I get right back into the groove, our favourite funny men are here doing the same thing. That's yeah. right. And joining us live from Melbourne, yes. the Oz Stereo Network's Hamish Black and Andy Lee. Rather Morning, guys. Everyone. Thank you so much, guys. Oh, wow. Well, it's deafening in here. I don't know if you can hear it in the Melbourne studio, but the applause is absolutely deafening. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Well, you guys came back to work, so we thought we better. we'd come back as well. Seems only yeah. fair. You know, like the Australian fair. stock market follows the American stock market. Like we, we were waiting for you, <laughs> and now we'll come back over here. Does that make us the American or the Australian stock market? I think it makes you the American yeah, one. Yeah, so yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> dollars worth more. Now, what have you guys been up to? I went to Yarrawonga. You guys know Yarrawonga, right? Big time. Yes. Yeah, river life. There's nothing like it. Um, yeah. And what, what were you guys up to? <laughs> I thought you thought you thought we were in Yarrawonga. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I saw yeah. The guys yeah. came out with weren't we, us. We, we saw you there and we were like, oh, no, it's Carl, quick, get to 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 straight bloody back on air. <laughs> So pretty much nothing, I think. Was no, a little bit of no, I mean, Ando's, Ando's, we've both been involved with things we love very, very much. Mm. Um, I went on a little holiday to New Zealand with my wife and child. Yep. Ando and has was... had two golf trips. <laughs> very good. It's in and fact, run, it's been run a very the for the old uh, Melbourne Stars. So I nice saw that. Yeah. Exactly. The MCG locker rooms around about three hours. And he's mm. come here. And he's still got an MCG wristband on because uh, <laughs> he was at the BBL final last night. Mm. Um, that's there. There's Andy, just 14th man. Uh, <laughs> all, all, uh, there you go. So you can see the whole team's having fun with him. <laughs> he's, he's, uh, so Andy goes in and says, yeah, I'm going to go and run the drinks and then just abuses the MCG's facilities and plays around on the bowling cool machine. Smart, um, so, yeah, but I don't know if you guys remember about seven months ago when we started on air last year. Uh, for your yeah, first day back, Andy had no voice. Yeah. And um, today that. he's just come that close Little after weird. he yeah. knows. And a bit miserable, Andy, because, I mean, your boys didn't win last night. No, the Sydney Thunder were too good for us. Still um, celebrated, though. Can, yeah. I just, can I just point out? Still a big night. I think they I mean, half the team's still at the MCG at the moment, I think. Uh, they're Getting ready going. for next year. Go the Thunder. Go the Thunder. Settle yes, down, Timmy. Oh, good. Hey, uh, so back at work this morning on the radio, uh, what have you got in store for us this year? We're pretty excited. I mean, it's kicking off the week pretty excited because we're actually going to simulcast into London. Um, what? Their, their, bre their breakfast show lines up with our drive show, and uh, one of the biggest uh, shows in, in London, uh, we're going to simulcast our show at the same time, sending uh, one of our listeners across to them, one of their listeners across to us for the ultimate paper, rock, scissors. Uh, you'll hear it we're live. Doing... As soon as they lose, they get straight back on a plane. <laughs> if they lose. If they lose. If not, they get to stay there. So, yeah, we're starting the, we're starting the year with a little bit of a hands across the... Is that the Atlantic to yeah. London? <laughs> Whatever oh, ocean that is. Hands yeah. across the world. Well done, Dickie. Thank you. Thank I always you. rely on you for special comments. Geography is special. It's the big round thing. <laughs> so listeners are going to find out how traffic is going in Trafalgar Square as well as all the other stuff that you guys do. Yeah. All your critical stuff. What's yeah. the queue like at the London Eye? Yeah. All, your big, all your big info will be, across, will be able to cross live to them. Plus, last year when we came back, um, look, I, I got a bit excited over the break and I spent... Five or six thousand dollars on merchandise for the show, and, and I haven't told Andy this yet, but I've had my hands in the team money again. So there's been, there's been some amazing purchases made over the summer break because you know long days. You just got you got your iPad, and you know it's very easy, to, especially when you've got a joint bank account. Very easy to go shopping. We actually do have a joint bank account. People find this funny, but Hamish and I do have a joint bank account. I've never bought something without asking him, and it's quite the opposite for this one over here. What's yeah. the point of having a surprise bank account for each other? Surprise, you can you. never, you <laughs> can never splash out on your partner. I say live a little. <laughs> Andy, now, yeah. what, what is Hamish's worst habit? Uh, spontaneous purchases has got to be one of the ones <laughs> that are probably the best. <laughs> so I watched down there. the other end. Great question, Carl. We don't know. And we're trying to find out if he's got a bad habit. Well, OK, Hamish, what's Andy's worst habit? Ah, uh, he's a little bit, um, little bit tight when it comes to the old purse strings at the joint bank account. <laughs> 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 there you go. Oh, and you know, the, 
<laughs> one of the last purchases Hamish made. He's, Very tight fingers he's on like, the purse. guess what, Andy? I bought us some bitcoins. Well, I'm not sure if anyone knows what that is. It's an electronic oh. currency. Hang in there, guys. Do you know how much that's worth at the moment? It's worth about 300 bucks. Min Hamish M bought minor both dip. of ours for $960 <laughs> each. It's a digital currency. One day soon, we're going to see a real uptick in bitcoins. If you guys have got any, I'd happily, I'd happily buy them at a discount because the market is depressed. But I'd buy them to add to our bitcoin, our two coins. Good timing. You well guys are firing up beautifully. Have a great year. We'll no doubt talk to you in the, in the process of the year as it unfolds beautifully. Uh, great to see you guys. Thanks, thanks, guys. thanks. Welcome thanks. back to you guys too. Thank Love you. It. Take care. Bitcoins. Write that down. Get Ross Greenwood to do something on that tomorrow. It's already written down. Yeah. Sorted. A lot coins. Okay.